what I'm about to do is uh, just search for some kingies down near Hastings and uh, be here for about 45 minutes and then after that I'm going to head uh, back down the top end of Western Port to uh, fish the uh, outgoing tide for some snappers so see how we go down here um, and hopefully get my first kingie. spot about half hour and head up for some I'm just waiting for the tide change to run out the start and then um, there's no point fishing it's like tide tangle up all the line about 20 minutes, half an hour. Just been jigging this little 100 gram, 100 gram um, jig. I'm gonna pack it in. Go for some uh, snapper. The uh, run out tides are just starting to uh, happen now, so get to my other spot set up and um, hopefully we get some reds. Alright, out at the next spot. Now just waiting for some snapper. So we've got the big outgoing tide just starting to uh, run out. Hopefully uh, get a big one. Went out about a week ago at night. I was gonna do an overnighter and uh, they, they got the weather on. So I ended up um, having an early night. Nothing uh, nothing to report there. And uh, probably about two weeks before that, I went out with uh, my brother and his mate. We uh, trolled for some, some tuna and um, jig for some kingies and um, but nothing there as well. So if I got some footage, I'll show you some of that. Yeah, the boys. Hey, Let's go. <laughs> but, um, yeah, other than that, it's been uh, it's been a little bit hard to get out lately. Just uh, just a lot of family stuff and a lot of things going on in life. But um, I'm out here now and looking for another red. It's um it's the end of Feb, so. Going into March, I did get um, some decent fish this time last year at this spot. So I'm in about, where are we? About five, five and a half meters of water. And in this spot, I have got plenty of fish, gummies and snapper. My best is um, 75 centimeter in this spot. So I know that I know they're here they do come here so oh. damn it that was a good run missed him Man, that was a good one. Oh, so close. He was uh, some good head shakes on that one. 
Something's going on. Every now and then one of these rods I take a quick buckle and then that's it. So something's gonna happen very shortly. Maybe this one over here too. whatever they are, whether they're small pinkies or snapper or small pinkies or um, gummies or something, I'm not sure. Nothing, nothing's hooking up normally when that, what that means is that the fish are too small and they're just grabbing the bait and they're running, they're not actually swallowing the bait, so they're not big enough to Keep trying. But whatever this is, been nibbling on it for a little bit. Say a little gummy. Jesus, it's a nice, it's a really nice gummy. Two are just a nice gummy. This one's just loading up now. I'm about to take off. I think they're gummies, damn it. I mean, still a nice fish. Holy moly, man. This one's a massive gummy. Look at that. A massive gummy. I've got a massive gummy on that one. And this one, I'm not sure. They're fighting like another gummy. Uh, these gummies are actually quite big. Some of the biggest gummies I've actually caught here. All right. Gummies, look at that. I got a bigger one on the got a bigger one here. Oh, this one's taken off too now. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Alright. Oh no. This one's actually fighting like a snapper. 
So I'm going to move this without getting injured. I come for it's a snapper not big nice though yes yeah beautiful look at that corner of the jaw as always awesome he's uh 45. It's 45. Beautiful Oi. snapper. Look at that. Yep. Awesome. All right, let's get these rods back. Still got the gummy on this one over here. I just need to, just want to get some baits back in the water. All right, so I got the gummy. Here's a really nice one, that one. Quite, quite a big, probably one of the biggest ones I've caught actually out here. Look at that. So nice, and I've got this uh, 45 centimeter one here. Set the snapper. All right, let's get this one in and, and released. Again, that's beautiful eating that that gummy, but um, I'm just happy to release release them. I'll, I'll keep one every now and then. Let's get these rods back in. This, like that big boy or girl. Feels like another snapper, but I've got I got an issue here. Look, I've got a gummy there. I've got to release him. I've got the snapper there. Let's put this one down. Let's get this gummy back in the water. That beautiful gummy. All right, bye, buddy. Eight. We'll release this one. Catch and release. See you later. Bye bye. All right, what can I say? I just had three massive gummies, literally two hookups or three hookups all at the same time. All the rods just went off. Um, we've kept the uh, the forty five centimeter snapper. Um, but the rest I've let go for now. I just got a 38 centimeter as well snapper, but it's a bit too small. Realistically, you want them at least 45, 50 to actually get any meat off them. So, oh, it's worthwhile actually, you know, killing them and, and eating them. So, um, yeah, hopefully I can get a just another nice one or two big ones. And um, yeah, that was a bit of mayhem actually, like literally space of about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, all these rods actually just started buckling. And um, yeah, I was in a bit of strife at one stage, so. All right, time to have a little bit of lunch. I've got, um, got some chicken nuggets and sausage rolls in there. They're all ready to go. Love it. 
All right. Told you I felt dodgy with this guy. <sighs> Alright, let's get you in, get you on your way. Banjo, bye bye. Yeah, just felt like a lump of weight as soon as, uh, as, soon as I striked it, so. Anyway, we'll persist through the, uh, the dodginess to hopefully get something decent. And in a way, I can't complain. I've already had um, literally three keeper gummies. They're all they're all beautiful, so can't complain about that. And I've I've got two keeper snapper as well, but I've kept only one snapper out of the lot. So, all right, baits are all back out, all fresh, ready to go, and. Uh, Time for a quick lunch. Tell you what, I'll say it again and again and again, having a pie warmer, you can cook anything you want in these things. I've cooked roasts, everything. It's uh, unbelievable. So, and to have something like this out on the boat and to have good food all the time, I mean, that's not great food, but having nice hot, hot pies, sausage rolls, you know, whatever you want. So really, really handy. Absolutely awesome. All right, let's dig in before uh, one of these rods decide to go off. This one looks like it's getting some nibs. At least let me have some lunch. Ha, ha. That's what life's all about. Enjoying it, getting out when you can. <clears throat> if you don't have a boat, get out to the piers, the beach, do whatever you want. It's um, it's nice and peaceful fishing. It's something I've uh, I've done my whole life, um, and been able to buy a boat a couple of years ago, and to be able to come out now is uh, is a blessing. So, and I'm pretty lucky. My wife lets me uh, go fishing pretty much whenever I want, so can't complain there. Kids are at school, so yeah, I'll give it another hour or so, hour and a half, and then um, the, the tide for today is actually going to drop around about 0.2 of a metre down near Turidan, so I need it to be at least 0.7 for me to get in and uh, retrieve the boat, so I'll have to get in by about 12.30 today. Uh, if I leave it any later than 12.30, I will um, I'll have to stay out here another three or four hours which I can do, but I'm happy to pack it in after lunch and um, call it a day. I've already uh, I've already had a, a good day already, you know, so some uh, some gummies, some snapper. Can't, um, can't complain. And some hot food. Yeah. I've actually been coming to this one spot for about 12 months and I've been taking data down uh, every time I come here the water temp uh, water temp today is 20.4 and I'm only in 3.7 meters of water so um, I've been coming throughout the year at least once a month and um, seeing the changes and seeing the differences in how the fish react in the water temperature just in this one spot really so um, what I've found is in the winter, the really cold months, uh, there was it was dead out here. But through to through from about September till pretty much March, um, because we're about to hit March now, uh, it's been pretty good out here. I get snapper, I get gummies, um, and just pretty much a mixed bag. So, but at least now when I take the kids out a bit later on, I know I've got a little diary on. On uh, you know some some good fishing, 
doing some bad fishing at least hopefully I can take them uh, out when it's good and I've got the information there so Been a bit quiet for the last 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, this rod just buckled before, so something's at the end of it. <laughs> just as I turn the camera off, then this one decided to go off. Something's happening. One of these rods, any minute now, they're gonna go nuts. Which one is it? Turn the camera off again and watch. But you can't watch. The camera will be off. Alrighty, it's been a little bit quiet. So, I had a few nibbles on uh, these rods, but nothing to report home to. Um, Alright, I'm going to wrap it up there. Started off the day trying to get some kingies, but that was only a quick sesh for about half an hour, 40 minutes, just doing some jigging. So, um, didn't really expect too much there, but had the opportunity to get out there and do it, so I did it. Um, and then, yeah, out here, caught a couple of snapper and got some nice gummies. Pretty much let them all go and kept one snapper, so... Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. wow. Oh. This is fighting like a snapper as well. There it is. All right. <laughs> How's that for a wrap up? How's that for a wrap up? Beautiful. I'll just, um, Measure. He's a uh, 42. Not bad. Just trying to wrap this, uh, wrap it up. And this one, this one, come along. Uh. Yeah. All right. We'll let him go. It's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, again. Jesus. Nothing for like two hours or hour and a half. Ba -ba. And then bang. Man, one of these rods just literally buckled. I might have to stay another 10 or 15. <laughs> wow. I don't know what's going on, but I'm trying to wrap up this show. And uh, rods are now starting to buckle. All right, I'm going to leave it there anyway. I'm going to bring these ones in. And um, again, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Um, thanks for all the comments too and all the support. We're uh, closing in on that 500 uh, subscribers now and um, slowly getting there. So definitely enjoying it, having some fun with it all. And um, yeah, appreciate all the support, everyone. Thank you. See you on the next one.